Hello everybody, welcome back to another Leonardo.ai video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to fix some of the hand and finger issues that is so prevalent in the AI art generation world and the AI image generation. Look at, this vid look at this image here, you'll see this attractive lady reading a book. Her hands and fingers are okay, but what if I told you that the original image actually had three hands and an extra five fingers? Yes true story let me show you here so i'm going to hit cancel on this and watch this as i slowly undo this i'll show you what we started with you see that she's now got a hand here and fingers hand here and fingers and hand here and fingers i'm going to show you how to delete that and fix that problem from scratch so let's just start from the beginning here so if you want to follow along with me we're in we just loaded up leonardo.ai so be it here's the first screen the next step i'm going to click on personal feed and when I do that, I'm going to look for an image that I want to fix. Attractive lady, this one here, is the one I want to fix. So I'm going to click on it. And the next step before I do anything else is I'm going to click on this copy prompt. I want this prompt because I'm going to need it later. Okay, good. Now you're going to see here that this is an upscaled image and there's these three dots or the ellipses. I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to go edit in canvas and it's going to give me a big zoomed in version of it. Now this does not always work and sometimes you have to re-roll like a Dungeons and Dragons character. You don't always get it right the first time. I've had it get it right the first time and then I've had it roll it three or four times. So again, this is all beta. This is in the canvas editor. So the next step is I'm going to grab the select tool here. I'm going to click on the whole image and I'm just going to reduce it in size a little bit. And the reason why is I just want it so that this box here, this 1024 by 1024 box or 512 by 512, depending on the size of your image, I want to be able to put that most of the way into the image. So like this. So I want to be able to basically use this so that it's sampling most of the image. So it could be here, it could be here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at something like that. Again, you guys can uh, season this to your taste depending on the size of your image. Uh, and the next step here, I'm going to go ahead and now switch to this mask tool. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of the mask quite big. And I'm going to draw a mask around this unnecessary hand, arm, whatever you want to call it. And just kind of get a nice bit of a, a, a rough mask. I'm not going to hand this in for for credit, but there you go. I've drawn a mask around it and it looks pretty good. Now the next step is I'm going to get the erase tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase around that area too because I just don't want any mistakes. This may be an unnecessary step. I'm not sure of all the mechanics of how this tool works here behind the scenes, but just in case I've masked it and erased it. Now I'm going to go back to my select tool. Now I'm going to go down to my prompt here. And again, seeing that I've got the rectangle inside the image, I'm going to go and copy and paste that prompt. So in my case, it's attractive lady reading a book. But if you have very, very, you know, intricate artwork with all sorts of crazy stuff going on, you're going to want to make sure you get that prompt right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click generate. And I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, welcome back. So I've gone ahead and clicked on it and you're gonna see a few things. One, that extra hand is pretty much gone. It hasn't done a perfect job here. You'll see here it doesn't look like it's quite blended in right, but it's much better than having three hands. I'll just click through some of these arrows here to show you a few different options. And look at that, actually the fourth one here, four of four, that's pretty much perfect. Her extra hand is gone. I'm going to click on accept and bang. Now, all of a sudden, her hand and her finger is are gone and it's gone. Like it's just perfect. So that's how you do it inside Leonardo AI. We didn't use any Photoshop. We didn't use anything fancy, nothing paid for. That's how you fix the finger issues. And you might have to re-roll it a few times, but there you go. Thanks for watching.